The Steam Summer Sale is here. For those not in the know, the Steam Summer Sale is one of four seasonal sales that Valve runs. These four seasonal sales tend to be the biggest sales of the year. Many, and I really do mean, many games go on discount. And yes, some games establish historic lows, the lowest price they've ever been officially on Steam. But of course, all of this can be overwhelming, especially for someone that may have just bought their own Steam Deck. Which by the way, the original LCD Steam Deck is discounted, bringing it under $300. I think that's a great deal. Anyways, aside from that, I want to give you a couple of tips for navigating sales and possibly getting better deals than what you can get on Steam. But before that, if you like this video or any other video I make, please like, subscribe, and share with all of your friends. Spreading the good gospel of high-tech low life lets the YouTube algorithm know that I'm doing well. The first tip is to just not buy anything you don't need or don't plan on playing. Yes, buying Castle Crashers for $2 on Steam sounds like a great bargain. In fact, it is a great bargain. But if you don't ever plan on playing Castle Crashers like at all, then what even is the point? Why bother, right? Like just save the $2 dollars for, well, anything you might need. Tip number two is to make use of the wishlist. Wishlisting is very powerful. Wishlisting is something you really should do when a game hasn't been released yet or when a game isn't discounted yet. Wishlisted games are added to your wishlist and if your profile is public, your wishlist is publicly available. And you could send your wishlist to your rich friend and hopefully they'll buy you a game or two. But wishlisting also tells you when an upcoming game is released. It also tells you when a game is discounted on Steam. These notifications are delivered to you through email or the Steam app directly or the Steam mobile app. So if a game happens to go on sale and it's not like a seasonal sale, you'll know. You won't miss out on any surprise deals. Wishlisting also benefits game devs. It lets the developers know how interested people are in their title. And yes, wishlisting titles does help titles do better in the Steam algorithm. So yes, if you want a developer to succeed, then wishlist the title. The next tip is to look for deals outside of Steam. And no, I don't mean the Epic Games Store or the Xbox Store or a different platform altogether. Many different websites sell Steam keys for various different titles. The two websites I tend to frequent myself are both humble and fanatical. But there's a ton of other websites that sell actual legit Steam keys. Do note that if you have a bunch of money on your Steam account, then you won't be able to use that money anywhere else but Steam. It is also worth mentioning that sometimes Steam will have the lowest prices of all of these websites. But looking through each and one of these websites trying to compare prices, that can be quite dizzying. So instead, there's one website I will point you to. Is there any deal? This is my next tip for mastering the Steam sales. Is there any deal actually revamped their entire user interface looking a lot nicer? It aggregates all of these websites that sell Steam keys. It'll tell you which of these websites has the lowest prices, and if there's any discount codes that you need to use, it'll tell you those too. It'll even tell you the historical lowest price of a game among all stores. Like for example here, the cheapest place to buy Armored Core 6 is actually Game Billet, and they have it for $36.39. The historical low for Armored Core was $34.50, so it was a tiny bit lower before, but it's still a great deal. It is important to note that a good portion of games aren't available on any other website but the platform holders website. Like for example Hades 2, you can only buy it on Steam or the Epic Game Store. You're not going to find Steam keys for sale on any other website. This website will save you a lot of grief. My next tip actually interfaces with is there any deal. My next tip of course being Augmented Steam. Augmented Steam is a browser extension that's available for most common browsers like Firefox or Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. Augmented Steam gives you a number of different features. It highlights games you already own or games that you've wishlisted. It gives you more filters and more options for searching for games in the Steam store. But the most relevant feature is integrating is there any deal directly into a Steam page for a game. Let's go back to Armored Core 6 for a second. As you can see on Steam, it's $41.99, which isn't a bad price for Armored Core, but you can buy it for cheaper on a different website. And with this extension, it tells you directly on the Steam store. $36.39 on Game Billet. And if you click on the link, it'll take you directly to Game Billet's website where you can buy Armored Core for cheaper. This allows you to use Steam for all of its very useful features, such as user reviews, looking at updates, or Steam.compatibility, while going to a different website to buy Steam in a more 
convenient manner. Speaking of Steam Deck, there is an Is There Any Deal Decky plugin. It also pulls data directly from Is There Any Deal. This, however, requires the use of the Decky plugin system. It's also said to have some issues with certain CSS themes. So if you heavily theme your Steam Deck, do keep that in mind. My next tip is to look for bundles. If you're interested in multiple games and the stars align, sometimes they may be featured in one bundle. Game bundles are a great way to get multiple games on the cheap. The best bundles in my opinion tend to be from Humble Bundle or Fanatical as well. But yes, there are many different bundles from many different websites. And yes, Is There Any Deal can help you with that as well. Let's look at, oh I don't know, Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl 2. You can see the list of websites you can buy keys from but it'll also tell you how many bundles it's bundled in. In this case, this game is in one bundle. The Summer Games Done Quick Bundle, available of course on the Humble Bundle website. So if we were to buy this game by itself, the lowest price you'll find on any website, including the Humble Bundle website, is $20. Or you can just buy the Summer Games Done Quick Bundle and get 7 games for $20. So if you're interested in Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl 2, then you may as well buy the entire bundle itself because it comes with that and Penny's Big Breakaway, Morrowind, RZ, Dishonored, Hyperbolica, and Blazing Chrome, all for $20. And yes, even if you aren't interested in anything but Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl 2, you still get multiple Steam keys that you can, I don't know, give away to friends or sell them. It doesn't really matter. You still profit in the end. So that about covers it for all of my tips for mastering the Steam sale. And while this isn't necessarily a Steam Deck centric video, this video greatly benefits Steam Deck owners because then you really should buy some games to go with your Steam Deck. You'd be pleasantly surprised. And to answer everyone's questions, no, the Steam Deck OLED isn't on sale. That literally came out like last year, in November of last year. Maybe it'll go on sale during the fall sale, but it's hard to know for certain. If you like this video, please press the like button and check out our other videos. And if you like those other videos as well, be sure to press the subscribe button and share the good gospel of high tech low life with your friends. Furthermore, we have a community discord for enlightened individuals such as you. And if you wish to further support high tech low life, be sure to check out our Patreon page. Links in the description.